video aims to describe different techniques of PVD induction in various conditions. The first technique is when retina is attached. Here, under high magnification, with full vacuum, vitreous along the disc margin is engaged in the cutter and pulled tangentially across the retina. This will detach the vitreous from certain areas of disc margin. Once it happens, vitreous is again engaged in the cutter from the attached and detached portion of the vitreous and pulled tangentially. This maneuver is repeated in all four quadrants till V-string is formed and then the final pull is given in the anterior posterior direction to complete PVD. Next case is when retina is detached. Here technique remains the same. Only thing we need to keep in mind is to prevent iatrogenic breaks. For that, the vacuum should be increased slowly to block the mouth of the cutter with the vitreous first. Once it happens, then apply the full vacuum to pull the vitreous tangentially. This will prevent retina bites and save completion of the PVD. Coming to the PVD induction in diabetic cases, we encounter two types of diabetic cases. First, where membranes are immature and hyaloid is stuck to the retina. In this scenario, PVD induction with cutter will lead to either evulsion of the vessels or hydrogenic breaks. Here, PVD induction should be well controlled. Spatula is my favorite tool in such cases where PVD is lifted from the disc first by engaging hyaloid with the pick. And further hyaloid can be eaten by the cutter using foldback delamination technique. Second type of diabetic cases where all the membranes are tightly stuck to the retina along with the hyaloid. Here forceps are used to lift the membranes from the disc. A sort of rent is made in the hyaloid and plane is formed and further dissection can be carried out using the cutter. The advantage of lifting PVD from the disc is that we always get the exact plane of dissection as second membranes also gets lifted along with the hyaloid. Coming to the last case of vitreomacular traction syndrome, here again special care has to be given while pulling the vitreous temporarily as it can lead to lamellar hole formation. Here plan is to cut the hyaloid all around the fovea rather than to peel the vitreous across the fovea. Always stain the vitreous with the tricot in these cases, start PVD induction nasally and slowly form the V-string. Then after that, cut vitreous all around the fovea to release all its traction.